What's up traders? This is Marco. We have Sunday the 23rd of April. Welcome to another weekly preview and what you can see here in front of you. This is the daily ES chart. So one candle equals one trading day. And if you watch our videos, you know we are in a huge downtrend since pretty much uh, last year. And we had a couple of confirmations of this downtrend. And recently, pretty much from uh, December last year, we are in this yellow range here. And we had a couple of pushes lower. We had a couple of pushes higher. We had some rejection of this range highs and re rejection of this range lows. And recently we have a shorter term uptrend working higher here. You can see the, the trend pretty much started in middle of March and it's working higher here. We have a couple of confirmations on the support side of this channel. Let me zoom in here a bit. You can see the confirmation of the support side. Then we had a confirmation on the resistance side here. And recently we are moving in a with uh, like a smaller range here and we are bouncing off the range resistance of this yellow range here. And you can see the last four, five, six candles are very much stacked up. It's pretty much dojis here. So market has no idea what's going on. And that can be explained simply with that we have a couple of structures working against each other. So on the first hand, we had this bigger downtrend working lower here with a break of the structure, but no retest. So uh, I drew this measured move here. If you take this whole move here as the first leg, then we have a target of a second leg at the lows that were pretty much made in October last year. Then second, we have this range working here. For me, this is the dominant pattern right now because you can see the range is being respected a couple of times. We had a um, touch here, then touch to the low sides, touch to the upsides. So this is how a healthy range look like when prices are bouncing between the resistance and the support. Now, since we're coming to the range resistance, in a healthy range, we would like to see a bounce of the resistance and test the other side of the range. But also noticed uh, the more a range resistance or the more a range support is being tested, the more likely it is that prices are breaking this level. So here we, te we are testing this resistance now for, I don't know, the fourth time. And um, we have to see what's happening in the coming trading week. And on the third point, we have this uptrend structure working here with a first potential break. So we would like to see a retest of the highs and then either sideways action or a retracement. So there are a couple of structures working against each other. Personally, I think uh, the range resistance here is some strong resistance. That's why prices are stalling here. But uh, of course, we have to consider that this uptrend here is broken for the first time, like pretty much <clears throat> the candle on Thursday and Friday, we're breaking this uptrend structure. So there is a potential we see a push higher retest of the high and then go back inside the middle of the range or even test the lower support area of the range. So for the coming trading week, um, there could be some more sideways action or a retest of the highs. And then I think uh, prices will most likely go and uh, target the middle of the range here because this is what prices do in healthy ranges. Of course, always under the condition that this range here is still in play. Looking at the calendar, uh, we don't have too many news events. In the coming trading week, you can see here on Tuesday at 9 a.m. We have the consumer confidence. Um, I would put more importance on Thursday to the unemployment claims 730. So before the market is opening and of course on Friday, uh, you have to keep an eye on that. The core PCE price index. This is a very important measurement for the Fed because you can also uh, see on the Fed watch tool in around 10 days, 
So this is the third May. Um, we have the next Fed meeting. And right now the market is pricing in an 89% chance that the Fed is um, raising uh, the rates for another 0 0.25 percentage. So a quarter point percentage. This is how it looks right now. So this news here on Friday, the core PC price index is very important because that could indicate what the Fed will, will be doing on the next Fed meeting. If this is in alignment to the forecast, then maybe we see this uh, quarter point uh, percentage rate hike. If for some reason uh, inflation is coming down big time and we can see it here, maybe we can see a change in the percentages here that the market is moving more, that there will be no, no more rate hike on the next Fed meeting. But yeah, it will be interesting what will happening in the coming trading week. Always keep an eye for these news events. Try to stay out of any trades, like at least half an hour before. And if you want to be sure, half an hour after the news release uh, to be not stuck in any position. And of course, I wish you a great trading week and um, stay with the trend <laughs> if you if you find the trend. And um, if it's going to be continued like how it was, for example, the last week, we, we saw a lot of ranges, then try to find the range highs and range lows and fade the first breakouts back inside the range. That means uh, do not trade the breakouts but prefer to take trades uh, back inside the range. So yeah, that's it for today. I wish you a great trading week and good trades to you.